Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Albert Bonson. I will be your professor for this summer semester for Political Science 121, American Government. Uh, we have today, what I'm going to do is just go introduce the course and go over the syllabi. I have already laid out our course in three modules that you'll see here. The first two weeks work is already posted along with PowerPoints, videos, uh, the, the readings, and one note on the reading. I sent out a, an email to you all with a, a PDF. I also want to note, and I will send this out an email, the textbook is on in our library reserve. So there is one copy for a three-hour checkout. If you prefer the hard copy, it's also in the bookstore. Uh, you can also procure a, an inexpensive copy online if you like, but I have provided you with the, the PDF of the text and that's all you will need. I will supply you with the other supplementary readings um, and the course I have made it very streamlined for this for our six weeks and it's very clearly laid out so we're going to go cup begin with module one follow up with beginning in week three and four with module two and close out with our last and third and last module uh, three, four, weeks five, and six. So the first thing you'll note on the Canvas site is our syllabi, and that's laid out here. And I'm just going to introduce a few of the things and go over uh, some of the key requisites, of course, that you will um, We'll be, we will be following here, such as our student learning outcomes, what you're expected to know at the end of the course, and of course, uh, the way that the assignments are laid out for us. So at the top of the page, you'll find the all my information. You'll want to use the email, my AP, uh, ponce at dbc.edu email. That is the best way to contact me. Uh, remember, this is a fully online course, so that is our main mode of communication, is email. Also, through our office hours, you know, I will have a weekly office hour, but I am available anytime to chat. Send me an email. We'll set up a time. If you'd like to Zoom, we can do that also. Um, or I will, I'm not in my office, so I will not be using my office phone. You do not want to call that number. I will be in and out. Um, so the best mode of communication will be email. And here I have laid out with the course description. You can go through, read through. I want you to read through the syllabus in its entirety, print it out, have it at your side always, because this is our contract. This is what we are bound to complete within the, the six week term for you to get uh, the CSU, UC transferable credits. Okay, so what I have first here laid out is our required textbooks, which I've already mentioned, American Government Black and White. You already have a copy, uh, but if you'd like a hard copy, we have it available for free. Check out in our library and for purchase in the bookstore or online. And one of the, I also provided a link for the California Constitution, which we will mention you don't need to purchase anything. So in essence, this course, I try to make all my courses as inexpensive or free as far as the textbook element is concerned. I, I make that a priority in all my courses. Uh, so I provided a link there for the California Constitution, which I'll mention from time to time. And one thing that you also have for free now, I will be sending you out an email shortly on how to sign up and get free access as a DVC student to the New York Times. The New York Times is a paper that, as most papers, have a paywall. They'll charge you. Um, so it's very, this is part of our required reading. You want to peruse the New York Times on a daily basis, if not more. Uh, it's got lots of content. And as a student now, you have free access. This just, um, this subscription was just purchased last week by our college. And now this, uh, it was very timely because I was going to, I was looking to assign a different newspaper. And then here we go with a free one. And it, the New York Times is the paper of record. Not my favorite newspaper, but it is the, paper of record in the United States and it is free which is the best part so canvas is our platform this is what we will be using you'll be uploading all your work here following along on your grades um, this course so it is your responsibility log on daily log on multiple times you'll have videos to watch here and this is where you'll be receiving your emails if you have an issue any issue that you have I can't uh, any questions that you have you're having problems on your end uploading contact this number here 
this is a 24-hour hotline. They have live uh, people on the phone that will walk you through anything, or you can also email them, and they'll get you through that. So this um, course is very straightforward. This is what you can always refer to here on page two, the, our grading scale. This is cumulative points, 350 points possible. And it's just, this is a straight breakdown. So if you're aiming for an A, you know that, that your threshold to meet is at least a minimum 315 points, and you have a buffer of 35 points to earn an A there. One thing I want to just add, I want to make very clear is I value the effort that you put into this course. I know we all come into American government at different levels of understanding or the political terrain. And in this course, um, some people come in well informed on, on in the realm of politics and others don't. But one thing you're going to take away from this class is how politics, it, everything is political. There is nothing that is outside of the political. And some of you may be saying, well, I don't like politics. Look at the state of affairs. Well, we're going to go beyond that and see how it affects your everyday choices and everyday in everyday life. So the expectations are very clear. Online behavior. Um, be very, we're going to get into discussions. You're going to be posting and reading those discussions and you would like to respond to each other. And I'll be going over that soon. But also here's some links on, on how this interactive course and your participation should be uh, formulated. And also academic integrity is key and always do your own work. I know this is an online course. Um, there, and I know the, there is a market out there or buying papers. You don't want to do that. Uh, do your own work, right? This is, we, we maintain the highest standards of academic integrity. Uh, you'll be turning stuff in on, on turn it in. Um, do your own work and it's very simple, right? So online students, how do we, uh, we will be meeting only online. You just read all, all this info here. Here's our attendance policy as far as, uh, attending an online class, log in. Your, every time you log in, that is calculated as, um, that is logged, you're logged into the system and that is part of attending and doing the work. Here's our use policy. So you can read all this. And here's our communication. I've already mentioned this on email. That's the best way to contact me. And I will respond to you uh, ASAP within a day or so, within the day, right? I'm always checking my email especially during this class. I'm on it. I'm trying to get back to you and get through all my, my hundreds of emails. So if I haven't responded within a day uh, or two at max, uh, please send me another email and a reminder. Okay. So we can have virtual uh, meetings also. And here are the student outcomes, learning outcomes that you're once expected to know once you've uh, completed this course, you can read through there. You will understand the foundations of government. And this is where we begin in our chapter Chapter one, we begin to understand the history of the United States of America, how it was structured, and how we're living out some of those uh, founding principles, but also some of the founding laws that are very still hotly contested in American society today. Uh, I have some disability support services a link here, an undocumented student resource link, uh, and some other links to some of the Contra Costa community colleges. Uh, proclamations in defense of all our students on campus, uh, academic academic dishonesty and plagiarism. You can read through. You cannot get if you read through this yellow. You know I, I really emphasize taking an online quiz with the help of another student or working together. Uh, that's academic dishonesty. And you can look through our handbook on what um, what the consequences of that are. So again, just doing your own work. This is very straightforward. The, the course is very laid out, very straightforward. And I hope you're gonna get excited and really uh, you'll become very informed on the principles of American politics and society. And then you'll begin to see how it relates to your everyday life. And I hope that you will be inspired and motivated. And again, that will end up, it's, it goes without question, most everybody will be doing their own work. Okay, so here's the assignments the moment you've been waiting for, very straightforward. Uh, we have discussion uh, board postings for this very six week semester. We will be, you will be responsible for five postings of a minimum 500 words, 25 points each, 125 points total. Your first discussion, there is the first due date. And this will be, you'll be introducing yourself to the class and to each other, to myself. And also, 
include the word count at the bottom. All right. So there's also the discussion board uh, guidelines that are posted here. But here you can just refer to this really quickly. We'll refer to this really quick. One thing on discussion word postings, approach them as if you're writing an essay. Approach them as if not something that you're just taking and laying out a narrative. This is something that should be structured, that you should correct your grammar, utilize proper syntax, and develop this with uh, a lot of reflection on the reading, based on the reading. So for example, our first posting will be coming from a couple of short readings that I've given to you from Michelle Alexander, Alexander, a piece she wrote in the New York Times, Thomas B. Edsel in the New York Times, and also thinking through what you've read in chapter one, the opening chapter, and how this all relates to a particular issue and this notion of American citizenship. So you will be reflecting and writing out your analysis. Now, what is analysis? Analysis is, uh, there's one word, it's not opinion, right? Um, when, when we're really laying out an argument and developing an analysis, it, it, we are taking something apart in order to understand it. That is the crux of what an analysis is. We're dissecting it again in order to understand it. And I've developed this on our key concept sheet that is posted here. And you can read through some of the concepts that, that I will be mentioning throughout, throughout the course and will be mentioned in your text. Um, and will be defined for you there. So you can see that key concept guide as a glossary of some of the academic terms that we, we use, and that will be very helpful. And be respectful, uh, make these connections. And in the rubric that I've laid out, I'll, it illustrates just a rough estimate on the points that you'll be awarded for each of these uh, breakdowns, for really thinking through the readings, really grounding some of the text and illustrating that you've read them, for one, two, and developing your analysis of them and following all of these uh, guidelines here. Okay, so those are five postings. The one uh, policy paper that you will be writing, you'll just do one. And it's been on 1,200. 50 words, about roughly about four to five pages, and that is a minimum. You know, A-level papers will go well beyond that. And I will uh, develop the uh, guidelines, and you'll have those well in hand. So you're approaching this as a very short paper uh, on a certain policy proposal, on something, on an issue that I will lay out to the class, and you will all develop from there. And that will be worth 75 points. So in essence, you'll, you will have six postings, including the one paper and the five discussion board postings. You will have three exams that will all be multiple choice from the textbook and the you will have plenty of time. For example, I already have exam one is already posted and you have a study guide. I will provide a study guide and leave these exams open for two weeks and I will give you ample time for you to do the work there. So I know we're moving very fast in the chapters here. We have the readings. Uh, you will see here's our schedule as we move into it. Some of the readings it looks like may be overwhelming. We have lots of uh, chapters to read, but you will I will be providing you with a study guide. You will have PowerPoints from the publisher for every every chapter that you engage, and you will also have uh, some video lectures and other uh, videos that will supplement and help you understand and make those connections. But a lot of this will make sense. It will begin to come together with you reading the New York Times and really being engaged with the world around you in the political realm then you'll be able to understand the, our present circumstances that are historically rooted and developed and by, by the powerful. Um, and that is where we begin on what is politics, of so defining what politics is. And once you go through, through here, I will keep, a, keep you abreast of all of the assignments, right? They're very clearly laid out. Our only discussion posting that is not due on a Thursday is I've moved it because of the holiday on July 4 to Friday, so you have an extra day there. For our first exam at the end of week two, it could be taken at any time. One, one thing is you don't want to take it until you're ready. So, and here is the schedule. You can look through it. I will be jumping back on. Late policies, this is key. You do not want to turn in any, we cannot turn in any work late. This is, we're on a fast turnaround here. And in fairness to all, please plan accordingly and your schedule will be be very prompt and develop your organize your schedules so know that you have something due every week 
and build around that. So I look forward to a great sem some summer semester. Uh, let's get begin. Let's begin, and I'll be sending you out some information via email. And then look.